Hello everyone and welcome back to a new lesson. Today we will learn how to place our projects using Grivit and Cesium Ion in the real world with geographical accuracy. Once you do that, you can view your projects on the web, on Unreal Engine, in NVIDIA Omniverse and anything that supports Cesium. In order to get started, we need to download Cesium Ion Exporter for Autodesk Revit and we can do that from the link in the description. Once you open the link, click on the download button and start download. This will take just a few seconds. Let's open the installer and click on install. That will take another second and now we can open Revit. It's worth mentioning that this is supported on Revit versions from 2022 to Revit 2025. Now let's open Revit and today we want to take a look at two sample projects. One that's already geolocated and the other I will show you how we can geolocate it. So the first sample is Snowdown Towers. You can find it under Autodesk Revit Samples. Snowdown Towers Sample Architecture, if you didn't find it in your launch menu. And now, first, I want to go to the 3D view. So let's go to that. Open the 3D view, and this is our project. If you want to check if the project is geolocated, you can go to annotate spot coordinate, click here and find a point, any point in this scenario. And you can see that we have north, east, and this is geolocated. In this case, since we have Cesium plugin, all we need to do is to go to Cesium, upload, and we need to enter the option shared coordinates. For this specific scenario, the Snowdown Towers, we need to enter the EBSG codes 2272 and 5773. I got both numbers from the Cesium written tutorial version of this video tutorial. The first code 2272, this is code for a projected coordinate system. And this projection is based on the NAD83 North American datum 1983 and it's specifically tailored for the southern region of Pennsylvania with units in the US survey feet. And the second number here, ESPG5773, is for the vertical coordinate system NAVD. And this one is related for the height for EGM96 geoid. We have many systems like this and I will leave links for your study in the resources. Once you set these two values up in the EPSG, all we need to do is to click on upload. Now Cesium will convert our project and after that it will start uploading to the cloud. Once upload is completed, you can click on Open in Cesium Ion to view our 3D model in the web. You will find your project under the My Assets type and it will take some time to tile the project, about a minute or so. Once the 3D tiling is finished, we're gonna see our project. It'll take a few seconds to load. If you click with the left mouse button, you can pan the camera. If you click with the middle mouse button, you can orbit the camera. And if you scroll up and down, you're going to zoom. Now you might see the project floating in this view. That's totally fine. If you want to expand the view, you can click on this button here. But before we do that, let's click first on adjust tile set location. It will load, we're going to see the longitude, latitude and the height. We're going also to see the heading of the project and now it's located exactly where it should be. In our case, since we have the EPSG codes, there is no need to adjust anything. In past tutorial, I adjusted things manually, but in this case, when you have your coordinates and you know how to convert your coordinates, you can see your project located exactly where it should be. The first code we used allows us to place our project on the map for the X and Y, and the second code we used is for the elevation, the height of where our project should be located. So now I will simply go back one step without saving anything because the project is located where I want it to be. If you want to create a simple, nice web application, you can go to stories. To share the project with your colleagues, you can create a new story from here. Or if you want to view the project in an engine like Unreal Engine, we can do that in the engine. So let's open the engine. Here we have Unreal Engine. I can press Control Space to create a new level for my project. So I will right click and create a level. 
and let's open this empty level. I always recommend to create folders and other folders then create your levels so you can keep your projects organized. Now we can go to window, open Cesium and if you don't have Cesium installed yet, I will leave a link to you for a full Cesium tutorial with many things to learn about the Cesium that I recorded for our Unreal Engine course for architecture. I will assume you have Cesium, so go to window, click on Cesium and let's start with adding Cesium Sun and Sky and Google Photorealistic 3D Tiles. Add these two actors and let's go back to window and let's click on Cesium Ion Assets. And here you're going to find all the assets that you upload from Revit, 3ds Max, Blender and other assets using the Cesium Ion connector. This is my project here. I'll click on add to level and as you can see here we have our cesium actors. I will right click to create a new folder and just call it cesium so I keep my project organized and I will select all my actors and I'll put them here. Now we need to set the coordinates in Unreal Engine so we can go to the location of our project. So I will click on cesium georeference and under the latitude and longitude I can easily copy these numbers from the cesium web tiler so I will open my assets here. Here, I will click on Adjust Tile Set Location and I will expand the view. I will copy the longitude, I will paste it here, and I will copy the latitude, I will paste it here. Now, if you click on your actor, in this case, no down tower sample architecture, and press on F, we can see that Cesium add in on Revit exported our project, exported our materials, and even the metadata of everything in the building. So if you know how to work with metadata in Unreal, you can change the materials or get more information. And if I switch to the wireframe mode, you can see that we have the project with all its details. You can easily share this with anyone, and it was very fast to bring in the project to Unreal. And the same goes to Omniverse and the web. Now, for the next example, we will take a look at the Golden Nugget sample project from Revit. And you can find that here under your samples. So let's open the project and go to the 3D view. And we can check the coordinates of this project or we can see that it's not geolocated if we go to the show hidden elements or reveal hidden elements. Give it a second, let's go to the top view. And if we zoom to the internal origin of the project here, we can see it's set to zero, zero, the elevation is set to 500, and we only have the angle to true north. This will be important later. Now, I will disable show hidden elements so we can upload just the project to Cesium. And now I will go to Cesium, and I will upload my project. For the georeferencing, I will select the internal origin and I will click on upload. When upload is complete, we can open the project in Cesium Ion. So here is the project and now it's retrieving the files and converting this into 3D tiles. We need to give it also a few seconds. And here we can see our project. And as you can see, there is no location for this yet because we used the internal origin. To adjust the location, assuming you have the latitude and the longitude from the architects, this is extremely easy to do. So we will select Cesium World Terrain, click on Next. This will show us our project and we can start locating our project from here. So we know this is in Graz in Austria. So click here to find the city first. And I have the latitude and the longitude from the architect. So I will simply paste these. So this is the longitude. And if I zoom out a little, we can see the project is here. And I will copy the latitude and I will also paste them. This is the project here. And for the height or the elevation, we also have this 405.045. And for the heading, we can simply go to Revit and we can copy the true north from here. So I will again click on show hidden elements to see our internal origin here. And I will copy this number, angle to true north. 
So I will click on the heading and paste the number here. And as you can see, our project is perfectly geolocated where it should be. All I need to do now is to click on save. And just like the Snowdown sample, I can import this in Unreal Engine or any other program that supports Cesium. So now the project is saved, the location is saved, I can go back. So if I click on my sample project here, we can see that the project now is geolocated. This is a file I uploaded earlier that is not geolocated, so this is the main difference. If I want to see this, I simply adjust tile set location and it's perfectly geolocated. Now, for testing purposes, I'd love to see this in Unreal Engine with Cesium World Terrain. So I will open Unreal and get back to you. Here in Unreal Engine, I already have my project and I have a folder for my Cesium tests and I will create a new folder, call it Maps. I will open this folder and I will create a new level here and call it Golden Nugget. And I will open this level. Let's save it. If you don't have Cesium panel, you can go to Window and enable the panel. And from here, I will add the cesium sun and sky, and I will add the cesium world terrain. So here, cesium world terrain and ping aerial maps. And in order to add the golden nugget project, I will go to window and cesium ion assets. And this is the latest upload. So I will add this to the level as well. And now it's being added. Now I can close this. Now, what I need to do is to locate my project. So I will click on the Cesium Geo reference here and I will paste the latitude and the longitude. So I have my location editor. I can copy the longitude, paste it here, and I can copy the latitude, paste it here, give this a few seconds, and now it will load the city. Now I can click on my Golden Nugget project and we can see it's located here. So if I press on F, we can see that we have our project exactly where it should be. So if you have any questions, if you have any problems, let me know in the comments. I hope you found this lesson useful and I will see you in the next one. Take care.